Accountability, hold yourself accountable to the immediate progress, okay? And, and one of the key differences is, is uh, action versus activity. We have people that come in and they get ready to get ready to get ready, right? They're, they're getting organized, they're getting their office clean, they're learning about new studies, they're printing out this, they're watching that YouTube video. None of that is truly directly building their business. It might be building their belief, but that's activity, not action. To me, action is sharing the ABC prime time with somebody new, it's following up with somebody who's already seen the information, and it's personal growth. Those are the three things that regardless where you're at in the business, if you're not doing those three things, you're doing activity. You're not doing action steps to move your business forward. And that would be my biggest advice to anybody is if you're not where you want to be, is look, are you doing these three actions on a regular basis? Now, some people are doing this full time. And so on a daily basis, they might be doing step one, step two, step three, sharing the ABC, following up personal growth. You might only have two to five hours a week dedicated to this because you're doing it very part time. But I'm telling you, in the time that you're dedicating to this, make sure those hours are filled up with action and not activity. You can do activity on the hours that, you know, you can't get a hold of people or maybe um, you're, you're not in the right mindset and, and, you know, a YouTube video is going to pump you back up you know, something like that, but don't make that your full time uh, <clears throat> portion of doing this business. You need to dedicate the majority of your time to those three action steps. And if anybody asks us, this is, this is something that we've been trying to integrate into our organization over the past several years, actually. Um, and uh, if we can duplicate this, I tell you it, the momentum phase will take off is every single person you talk to within your organization should be able to answer the same answer to this question. What should we do on a daily basis? What is our daily method of operation? And it's these three things, sharing the video, following up with somebody who's already seen the information and personal growth. If your organization is doing those three things on a consistent and a regular basis, you will see things explode because you'll get it in front of enough people and take them through enough parts of the process to find other people that see it like you see it. Okay, the very bottom portion of this, the bottom right, is talking about if you're ready to commit. We've, we've now spent, you guys, we've gone an hour and 15 minutes. You can probably go through some of these steps a little bit faster with people, but now we wanna take them to where are you? Are you ready to commit? to this as a business. Because if you're gonna treat this like a business, there's very specific things that I would suggest that you do. If you wanna treat it like a hobby, it'll pay like a hobby. If you wanna treat it like a part-time job, it'll probably pay like a part-time job. If you wanna treat this like a multi-million dollar business, here's what you need to be ready to commit to. And walk them through the process of enrolling. I wanna sign you up for the next Elite Academy. Okay, the next Elite Academy is in February in Indianapolis. These are approximately every four months in 2018. We have one in February, one in July, and one in October. It's like 12 days out of the year. Can you commit? And I'm not talking about on the financial side right now. I'm talking about, you know, maybe just buying the ticket. Because we have a roadmap in place that if you reinvest the commission money between now and February, I promise you if we do the steps properly, we will get the money in, into your pocket. I would rather have somebody tell me all day long, I can't get time off work than I don't have money because I can show somebody how to make money if they work with me and if they get me on the phone with their contacts and they share the ABC video and then connect me with that person to walk them through the process and resolve their concerns, they're going to get a ton of customers and they're going to get a few distributors. Okay. But the next step is signing up for Life Vantage Academies. Okay, are you committed to really learning about this business? I'm not bringing in a bunch of professional network marketers and I don't think most people in my organization are. And if you're not, they need the basic building blocks over and over and over again. You guys, I've heard this information, the same information over and over again, eight to nine times a year for the past six and a half years. I could repeat it and I do. I train it. This is what I'm training you on. This is what I train at LVAs. But I still show up to every single Life Advantage Academy if I'm not training it 
I show up in my market because even though I know the information, there might be that nugget or that inspiration somebody else provides. But bigger than that, if my group doesn't see me placing value and importance and taking time out to learn that on a consistent basis, why would they place it? Okay, never expect anybody in your organization to do things that you're not willing to do. So make that a priority that regardless, if you don't even take one nugget out of it, that you're there and you're showing up because you're placing importance and you want your team there because they will learn things from it and they will learn how to do this business right. So uh, 2018, it's always the third Saturday of every month that we don't have a major convention or elite academy and we don't do it in December. So there's not a ton of months. We've got January, none in February. We've got March, April, May, June. There's not one in July because there's an elite academy. There's August, September. There's not one in October and there's one in, in November. So I think that's like eight. Asking somebody to commit to eight Saturdays out of 52 is not a huge deal if they want to grow a multi-million dollar business and, and put you know $2,000 or $5,000 residually in their pocket every month. That's not a huge expectation. And then setting up a couple different home meetings. Okay, we've talked about the invite. We've talked about databasing. They haven't done it yet. So we've got to set up times. And this goes back even to that very first page where we talked about how fast do you want your return on investment by. Okay, if they're telling you they want their return on investment this month, they better set up two things on page 10, two different times that you can have meetings. It might be an in-home meeting, it might be a webinar, it might be a conference call, whatever it is, they need to establish two times. So then when they're inviting and, and somebody says, well, I'm not free Thursday, uh, but you can come back and say, well, that's totally cool. I'm actually, I'm gonna have the same thing going on on Saturday. You know, do you have 45 minutes to an hour on Saturday? And, and then you have two times to invite them to while you're going through that first process. But if you don't have those initially set up, the chances of somebody doing it the first month aren't as high. So get those uh, done right away while it's fresh on their mind, while they're excited, while they're hot. Uh, figure out, you know, I can do it on Tuesday and I can do it on Saturday. We've already got them established. If you can get them a check in their hand that first week, I'm telling you, it'll keep them in the business probably for two years. Just that first check of knowing that they got people on the phone, on the conference call, on the webinar. They might not have got any cus or any distributors, but chances are they get 10 people on a webinar, they're gonna get a few customers that are willing to see what it does for them. So set up those, establish those, get them commit to these four things and let them know the importance of doing these um, and investing back into themselves. Uh